Hi, and welcome to a new video series, Metastatic Modernity. I'm Tom Murphy. I'm a recovering astrophysicist. I've had a career as a physics professor at UC San Diego. Now focus more on planetary limits and modernity and what our future holds. The purpose of this series is to put modernity into better perspective. So I expect it to consist of something like 15 short videos, and I'll describe a little bit more what the content will be like. And I will focus more on the content than the production quality. So apologies for the amateur um, nature of this. I'm not going to extensively edit. It is just is what it is. Uh, so hopefully it's useful. So first, let's talk just as a matter of introduction about what is modernity. Well, I mean, look around you. It's all around for most of our eyeballs are landing on, on elements of modernity. But, you know, it's big cities. Um, it's interiors that don't look anything like the outdoors. It's medical technology. It's science and technology, computers and Internet. It's transportation and moving ourselves around and traffic jams and the energy, mostly fossil fuels, that we um, use to, to accomplish these things and newer forms of energy as well that likewise are powering modernity. Now, all of this is quite an anthropocentric, um, very focused on ourselves. It's all about us. And that itself causes a lot of problems that we'll be returning to. We tend not to see a lot of the harms. They're a bit hidden from view and uncomfortable to talk about, but our lifestyles end up creating misery for many animals on the planet. And that's something that I'd like to address. So I've set this thing up as being kind of a, a stage four cancer modernity is metastatic is this really terminal um my, that seems kind of bad and it's hard to fathom it's kind of a i can't do this in one swipe it's something of a heavy lift but that's what this video series aims to do so it's going to provide a lot of context along the way to help understand that and if if i had to boil it down to a single word i would say unsustainable so i think most people would kind of agree that, yes, things are unsustainable. But what unsustainable means is failure. Unsustainable can't last. Now, there's a lot more to it, and we'll get into that as we go. A lot of people are very concerned when they hear that modernity is terminal. And here in big friendly letters, don't panic. Um, the main thing to realize is that modernity is not humanity, that a failure of modernity does not need to be a failure of humanity. Modernity is a mode that humans are currently trapped within and living within. But, you know, comparing it to cancer, it's okay if a cancer dies. You don't want the patient to die. And so think of modernity as a, an almost affliction of humanity. And so we want to save humanity and not just humanity. Not, let's not be anthropocentric here. We want to save the living world, and modernity is in tension with that. And so let's focus on what's really important. So the plan here is first to recognize that we've had a narrow exposure, all of us, to um, what the actual world is. We've been kind of uh, in this bubble, this modernity bubble. So I want to step back and gain a larger perspective, kind of a grand view. That's what a lot of this will be doing. So we'll look at cosmology, the emergence of life, evolution, uh, biology, ecology, a uh, time perspective. So those are the kinds of things that we're going to uh, start with and then see what we can make of that and how modernity fits or doesn't into that scheme. So I just want to offer, before we really get started um, with uh, future videos, an analog to how people get their news. And we have very polarized uh, politics and different people get news from different sources and they disagree on factual information and it's hard to have a dialogue. And so we all see this, we all know this, but consider that all of those news sources are still kind of modernity boosters. So all of the, almost all the people, you know, um, 
your friends, family, um, corporations, uh, news agencies, magazines, uh, television shows are real proponents of modernity. And it has some nice nifty features, but realize that we're not getting much criticism of it in most of our media sources. And so we think it's a good thing. It's also very anthropocentric, uh, as I've mentioned, and the coverage uh, really shows that. Um, so look, you know, pick up a magazine and see how many pages are dedicated to people, things. So um, I also want you to imagine what news would have been like in Nazi Germany in the early 40s. A lot of promotion of the good things that were happening uh, for the German people at the um, hands of the Nazi party. Um, not much news about the really ugly things that went along with it, the concentration camps. That just was not in, in, uh, in you know, front and center. So we have a somewhat similar, almost propagandized uh, media full of modernity boosters, and that's something to be uh, aware of. So our course of action here is to develop a more complete perspective to see some of the external things from a, a longer, through a longer lens. And um, I think if you're like me, you'll come to see modernity is really quite unhinged and something that, you know, really can't continue. So I think um, this is a short video um, without a whole lot of content. So we'll get into the next, um, in the next video, more content. And I expect something like once a week, although I might accelerate the first uh, or the second uh, episode just to get more um, uh, good material out there and, and you'll get a sense for what this is going to be like. So in the meantime, you can look at Do The Math blog and learn more. Okay, until next time.